Nothing inside here. Well, first of all, I don't have a feeling for what this floor is like. We're on the second floor now. We're on the stairway to the third floor. We're gonna have to find another medallion to get the stairway to the first floor. There is a terrace. There is a hidden room, but it's not that hidden if it's on my map. There's the second floor kitchen, which means it's also probably a first floor kitchen. There's a dress room. There's a meditation room. Meditation. There's a reception room. There's a system employee's antechamber. Huh. There's a bathroom. I was wondering if there was any bathrooms in this house. And there's a ballroom. Alright. Hall is as it is. And of course, there is a killer. I just saved. I'm gonna do it again. I get a little bit of sanity back, but well, I don't think the killer's gonna be here because we just literally finished the last scene. Obtained a carrot. Okay. You can also see a floor below us, kind of. Weird way to show it off. So let's see. I'm gonna actually start off with the left. I'm gonna start off with the left wing, then move away to the right wing. So I guess, actually, I'll first see if there's anything down here. Which, the answer to that is that there's a box. Obtained a red ointment. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's much. I think I can open it with a screwdriver. I am gonna use the screwdriver. This is one handy dandy screwdriver. It is simple now. So what stars, uh, what room did I suddenly spawn from? This is the question. Item, map, this is... Or am I in the, I don't know what room that is, am I in the meditation room? Is it locked from the other side? What the hell? Yeah. What? I heard the sound of things breaking and cracking on the other side of the door of the ballroom. I think I heard some loud sound. What on earth is happening? It seems to be coming from the ballroom. Let's go find out. It's frightening. Minyu, look at that! Ah, uh, that is... The noise came from the center of the ballroom. There were two shadows fighting against each other. They were pushing and throwing each other, hitting each other with fists and feet as if they were two straight dogs men in the field. One of the shadows was slightly larger than the other. The larger one seemed mostly dominant. However, the smaller one was not losing either, attacking back whenever it had a chance to. I could not distinguish the two shadows, but one of them must be the killer. Let's go and help. But I am not sure who I should help. You fool, we don't have time to think about it now. Just go and stop one of, the, uh, one of them. That was an absurd and irresponsible proposal, but it was undeniable that I needed to stop the fight anyway. But there was no way of knowing what, who the killer was, not only because it was dark, but also because they were moving so swiftly. I need to rely on my instinct. Who should I stop? The large figure that seems to be dominant, the small figure on the losing side. I'm gonna start with the small figure on the losing side, but of course, being me, I'm gonna save both options, so. This must be the killer. The large shadow was about the size of my brother Minho. As I see his back almost every day, I could e easily distinguish him. I do not know how well he fights, but he is good to shape as he plays many different types of sports. Even if the killer were so skillful in fight, he would be he wouldn't be able to overpower Minho so handily. So, and it is unmistakable that the large shadow is Minho. Then the smaller one must be the killer. Beep. The two people found me running towards them with a loud noise. They seemed to be perplexed at the situation and stopped fighting in an awkward position. I flung myself forward in the small shadow as if I was tackling an American football. The shadow, which was directly in the course of my tackle, stumbled upon the ballroom floor with me. When I managed to come to my senses, I tried to check who was beneath me. However, I could not control myself. My visions got blurry and I felt a sharp pain in the stomach. When I touched my belly with shaking hands, warm liquid was leaking out of it. It seemed to be blood. 
Ugh. The shadowy guy pinned beneath me pushed me away and ran out quickly through the other end of the passageway. I could not have a good look at the guy t uh, till the end. That was the killer. I was chasing him with my eyes, but my body was out of my control and fell down on the floor. And then the are going, My Yuki! My Yuki! Wake up, my Yuki! It feels like Yuna's voice seems to be coming from far away. But what is the use now? However many times I think about it, I do not like darkness. Well, there's another bad end. Basically, you kill everyone because everyone's going to stab you. Of course. Not this game, let's see. Let's load from here. I didn't even get a chance to examine this room last time. It's an ordinary clock. There's a shiny. The fact there's a few shinies here. This is a cigarette case my oldest sister, Chin, used to smoke. She always takes it with her. Where can she be? I am... Um, Investigate the case. or fucking all these choices. I'm gonna try smoking. Shall I try it? I have a matchstick, so convenient. Oh. Oh. I am going to investigate the case. All right. Ouch! Another headache. Flashback time. <sighs> That's some expertly drawn cigarette smoke. Ora, 담배는 싫어했던가? 몰랐어. 미안. 알고 있었으면서. 그나저나 민호 오라버니가 저렇게 고집 부리는 거 그냥 보고만 있을 거야. 이대로 가면 우리들은 유산이고 뭐고 한 푼도 못 받고 영원히 붙잡혀 살아야 한다고. 뭐 어쩌겠어. 억지로 후계자가 될 수는 없잖아. 어머, 왜 그렇게 쿨해? 사문 오라버니가 그렇게 순종적인 사람이었어? 듣자하니 요즘 사고 뒤처리하느라 가진 돈 전부 날렸다면서? 치, 네가 상관할 바 아니잖아. 내 탓이 아니란 말이야, 내 탓이. 역시 오라버니도 아버지의 유산 없으면 위험한 거 아니야? 내 이름, 내가 알아서 해. 아무리 생각해도 사문 오라버니가 유산에 관심이 없을 리는 없고. 뭔가 꿍꿍이가 있는 거지? 말을 못 하는 거 보니까 뭔가 있기는 있나 보네. <웃음> 역시 사문오라버니는 조용히 일 꾸미는 거 하나는 존경해 줘야 한단 말이야. 저 음악밖에 모르는 골빈 바보랑은 말이 안 통해. 그렇게 대놓고 달려들면 민호오라버니가 오히려 완고하게 나온다는 걸 말을 해 줘도 모르니. 억측은 그만둬. 난 아무것도 꾸미고 있지 않아. 아, 그러셔요? 그건 뭐 두고 보면 알겠지. <웃음> 어머, 민혁이 왔어? 여기까지는 어쩐 일이야? 오늘은 좀 기분이 좋은가 보구나? 아, 응. 어쩌다 보니. 난 아무것도 못 들었어. 정말이야. 나 그만 갈게. 사문 오라버니도 참 짓궂어. 애 주눅들 개왜 그래? 안 그래도 있으나 없으나 한 애를. 흠. 조금 쳐다본 것까지 움츠러들긴. 줏대 없는 놈. 저 녀석은 신경 안 써도 되겠지. 어차피 알아서 지방에 처박힐 테니. 머리가 부서질 것 같아. 
However many times this comes and goes, I cannot get used to the head to this headache. The illusion was here again. I hastily snatched the wrist of Huna. I do realize that the pain will not go away with a painkiller. But how can I explain it to Yuna when she is so suspicious of what I am? I finally decided that it would be difficult to keep it a secret that the reason for the headache is the hallucination. I started to explain the problems that have been I have been experiencing. He's gonna think you're insane. 그러니까 지금 시도 때도 없이 환각이 보인다는 말이지? 그래서 돌아가신 어머니가 나타나거나 가족들이 싸우거나 그러는 게 보인다고? You not put a hand under my forehead. 이상하네. 특별히 열은 없는 것 같은데. She must be treating me as a sick person. I did not expect her to believe my words so easily anyway. 거짓말이 아니야. 그럼 진짜 날 보고 그걸 믿으라고? 정말이라니까. 말이 되는 소리를 해야지. She frowned with an irritated voice. She must have thought I'm delirious. I need to take some other course of action if I'm to persuade her. I am try to persuade her in words. Give her the documents. I will persuade her in words first, but I think the documents is going to be the correct course of action, or maybe this is one of those choices that'll affect the ending. Let's find out. She must trust me if I tell her what I saw in Samun's room. 너 사문 형이랑 어떻게 된 거야? 뭐? 갑자기 그게 무슨 말이야? 사문 형이 널 어떻게 대하는지 봤어. 보긴 뭘 봤다고 그래? 너한테 강제로 키스하고 또 금고문을 열라고 강요하던데 그거 사실이야? 네가 어떻게 그걸 환각으로 본 것들이야. 이제 내 말을 믿겠지? 변태 자식. 뭐? 그걸 다 훔쳐보고 지금까지 모른 척했던 거야? 아니 그러니까 환각이. I was actually asking this earlier how he could even have that memory. But I guess we're going into a perverted direction. Okay. Hosori Chibocha! Ah. Of course, it would be difficult to persuade her without solid evidence. She's looking at me with the eyes filled with 100% pure contempt. I guess I'll give her the documents. So, you go. I picked out an envelope from my pocket and handed it to Yuna. What is it? Samunyong Kumguan is right on Bongtuya. 너랑 상관이 있는 것 같아서. 뭐? 설마 그거? As Leia matched over, Yuna started to read the content of the document hurriedly. She must have been very concerned about it. <sighs> 다행이다. She seemed to be relieved after reading through the paper. What paper could make her so flurried? 네 말이 사실이었구나. Why does that convince her, anyways? Yuna seems to trust me a little after reading the paper. I feel that she may answer my questions more sincerely now. What should I ask her about? The document, relationship with Samoon, and Missy with the... I'll start off with the document. We'll go from the top. This is Come on, you knew this already. Anyways, going through. 양아버지. 즉, 지금의 아버지가 집 앞에 버려진 날 걷어들였다고 들었어. 나도 이 사실을 알게 된건 최근이야. 그런데 어느 날내 친부모라고 하는 사람들이 나타났어. 처음엔 믿지 않았지만 그 사람이 갖고 있던 사진이나. 여러 가지 정황들이 전부 들어맞는 거야. 그런데 지금의 친부모라는 사람들은 형편이 별로 좋지가 않아. 
나한테 연락을 해온 목적도 경제적인 도움을 받으려는 목적이었어 참 치사하지 지금까지 단한 번도 연락한 적 없었으면서 I was just thinking that they were probably coming after if there's inheritance money connected to all this so yeah I... 처음엔 날 다시 찾아온 목적이 돈이라는 사실에 못본 척할까 생각도 해봤지만 그래도 날 낳아준 부모님이라 생각하니 그럴 수도 없었어 그 뒤로 개인적으로 여유가 생기면 가족들 몰래 조금씩 부모님께 송금을 하고 있었는데 사문 오빠는 송금 내역을 빌미로 날 협박하기 시작했어 재산을 빼돌리고 있다는 걸 가족들에게 알리겠다면서 자기 말을 듣지 않으면 집안에서 쫓겨나게 될 거라 난 부모님을 돕기 위해서라도 사문 오빠가 시키는 대로 해야만 했어 도움이 안 되는 부모님이지만 그래도 겨우 만났는 걸 Honestly, she should let them go if she's in a situation where they're literally being money leeches. 그랬던 거구나. I can understand Yuna. The amount of money in the document is no more than the usual allowance for Yuna, but it may be a large amount for some people. Yuna must have been saving up some of her allowances to help her biological parents. On one side, if it's her allowance, then my belief is if you have an allowance, then you know it's your money. I, I didn't get an allowance when I was growing up. I'd have to do various things and uh, the world wasn't really worth it but if you do have an allowance then it's really your money to do with as you please so i mean technically she could do this i can understand the sort of questionabilities to a rich family that's really concerned with its money situation after the death of the main figure that uh, accumulated the sum but at the exact same time i'm not thinking i'm thinking that would not be the wisest decision but if it's her decision it's her money to do with as she pleases However, the allowance is usually intended to be used for herself or for the family. It may be frowned upon when the family money is used for some other people, especially in the current situation. And seeing that the other people are the biological parents of Yuna, who seem to have abandoned her for good, even my mother would not allow it. Samar, Samun, must have taken his chance to control Yuna as he wanted. Alright, so that's the document. Let's get about the relationship with Samun. Samun, what did you teach me? Samun, my father. 안방 키를 복사해서 틈이 날 때마다 금고를 열 방법을 찾아오라고 시켰어. Okay, so different people. I'm gonna talk a minute with the chat here. Some people have allowances. Some people can just kind of ask what they want, and other people have to work for money. I was one of those work for money people. I didn't get an allowance, and the only way I would get any money is if I did chores. But in the end, it wasn't really worth it because it was like, oh hey, clean this whole entire room, which included dusting and mopping and putting things where they belong and all the very variety of things that take about an hour or two. And then after that, I was like, here you go, here's a dollar for your hard work. And I'm like, oh boy, a dollar. I can buy like four gumballs with that. Anyways, going on though. 어머니가 재산을 모두 써버리기 전에. 유산을 손에 넣어야 한다면서 하지만 지금까지 단한 번도 성공한 적이 없어 I heard that the passcode of the safe is separately kept somewhere It's no wonder that Yuna cannot find it in the room Alright, let's talk about intimacy with Minho 혹시 민호 형하고 가깝게 지내는 건 사문 형 때문이야? 그런 거 이상해. 우린 가족인데. 나쁜 일이라는 거 알아. 하지만 나도 억지로 강요당해서 한 일이야. 나도 정말로 그러고 싶지 않았어. 아무튼 부탁이야. 아무에게도 말하지 말아줘. 알았어. 말하지 않을게. 고마워. 대신. 내가 환각을 본다는 사실을 비밀로 해줘. 식구들에게 걱정시키고 싶지 않아. Oh, well, that's actually not a bad exchange of dealings there. Basically, I won't tell the fact that you are getting closer to a brother that is incestually interested in you. If you don't tell the fact that I'm fucking crazy and saying hallucinations everywhere. <laughs> Sounds like a fair trade-off. 그래, 알았어. Alright, now we're done with the conversations there, so yeah.
The pain in my forehead or my head subdued. I think I'm recovered enough to walk around again. I don't know how important the document was for her, but now she seems to trust my words, and I won't need to be taken for a killer anymore. Now let's move on. Are you really going to be fine? Yes, I am all right now. Okay, so they're just basically with the checkup here. How feeble are you? Sorry that I'm so feeble. Huh? There's a phone next to the cigarette case. I still feel like to get the best ending, we're going to have to collect all of these photos. Currently, our photo looks like that. And your family already. So it looks like it's going clockwise from Anne, because that's on capitals. But we're definitely forming a picture of some kind. And there was another shiny right here. Hmm? Where is this wind coming from? When I stood near the picture on the wall, I could feel a weak flow of air on my face. Looking closely at the picture, there was a hole as if it was poked with a finger. There is a hole in a strange place. I may be able to see something if I peek through the hole. I'll get up for the moment. I don't see anything in the darkness anyway. Let's not waste time. More like I want to save my game before I do this. Let me observe the rest of this room. There's nothing useful. Things to check. I want to make sure there's not like any hidden items here. The table seems a little heavy. No, it doesn't really seem like there's many items hidden around at the very least. This is ordinary clock. Alright. So I will do this now. Let's peek through the hole since I've already saved. Let's peek through the hole. I put an eye near the hole and peeked inside. Shit. On the other side of the hole, an eye was staring back at me. I could feel the madness in the eye clearly in this darkness. What is it? I can hear the footsteps running hurriedly on the other side of the wall. Watch out, the killer is on its way. No. We cannot let it come into this room. We must stop it. Just in time. Now, what's the sound? The sound seems to be coming from the vent! Let's push the clock to block it. Oh, it's gonna be Andy. Alright, can do that. All the QT ness. Success. Ah, <sighs> just in time. Wow, that was close. We decided to wait a little longer until everything went quiet. We'll be alright now. Let's go outside quickly. Alright, so, can I check the hole now? No? Okay. Guess I'll get this back. And we'll make a save file here. Move that out of the way, and outside we go. Now we can get the other ending piece. And now this little yell. We've already seen this scene because we walked out immediately last time. So this time, let's go check this out. We know a figure to help, though. So we've already read all this, so I'm going to sort of skip through and get to the part that we were at. The large figure that seems to be dominant. Let's help that one. This must be the killer. I thought a killer must be really good at fighting. Otherwise, it won't work around in a closed environment so boldly, knowing that it's so outnumbered. Yeah. I tried to turn their attention by shouting out and rushed onto them. Two people found me running towards them with a loud noise. They seemed to be perplexed at the situation and stopped fighting in an awkward position. I flung myself towards the large shadow, which seemed to be dominant in the fight. The large shadow, which was directly in the course of my tackle, stumbled upon the ba ballroom floor with me. Ouch. When I managed to come to my senses, I could feel the guy was lying beneath me. The face of the guy was familiar to me. It was the firstborn of this family, of the family, Minho. M Minho? There's him going, oh. Like, anyways, Minho seemed to be out of his wits because of the sudden attack. Fortunately, he did not seem to be seriously hurt because the floor was flat and soft. Then the guy who was fighting against Minho was... Watch out! And then we say, arg, dramatically. 
brother. And then he wait, wait. In my screen, he jumped to the other side. Brother! Ugh. He fell down on the floor with a groan. And the shadow which was fighting against him ran out quickly through the other end of the passage. Then, that was the real killer? Everything happened in a few seconds. I did not know how to react. All I could do was to sit down and stare blankly for the moment. Minho was holding his belly and breathed heavily, frowning painfully. I could see dark red liquid constantly flowing out between his fingers. He seemed to have been stabbed by a knife. Ugh. And then, of course, we have to yell Minho dramatically. He's the one that loved music and the one who is intensely interested in the sister that's here. Of course. <laughs> Minho, bro. That's one way to definitely word it. What should we do? What on earth did I just do? Well, to be fair, if you actually went after the smaller person, you would have been stabbed and we would have got a game over. We already did that. However, though, in this, is it going to be possible to save him or no? Let's find out. Do something. I came to my senses at the tearful voice of Yuna. I have read that I need to put pressure on the wound to stop bleeding. Otherwise, he could die from the shock induced by overbleeding. I need to quickly find things that can be used to treat him. So I'll make a save file here. There's nothing useful, there's nothing useful to use for the first aid treatment. There's a plate on the table, pick it up. Obtain the plate. Matchsticks, lucky. Found four matchsticks, I don't think it's gonna be useful in this scenario, so. Uh, I don't know what I just picked up. Pick up, is this a cup on the table? Pick up the cup, I don't know what the fuck I'm all picking up. Why do I need a plate and a cup and everything? It's available in this room. Uh, anything down here? Picked up another fruit thing, apparently. Down the statue. It's locked. I don't think I can open it by myself. That's okay, we're not trying to leave anyway. Just making sure there wasn't anything that we needed there. There's a sheet, or there's a thick sheet of napkin. Pick it up. To a napkin. Let's get back to him. Which of these items can I use for first aid treatment? Golden ornament, plate, cup, family photo, napkin. You would think a napkin. Though the fact that I can use the family photo is a little bit odd. I may cover the wound with a napkin. There's nothing useful to use for first aid treatment. Is there more I can pick up? Uh, I guess I should check every side of the table. There's a fork and knife on the table. Pick up a tame fork and knife. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna have to figure out how this scene works in a little bit. And down the top chair. Tamed an ear pick. Who picks ears at the table? Well, that's a question you're gonna have to ask yourselves, because I don't know. There's nothing useful for the first aid treatment. Uh, we already, I think we've already raided most of this, so is there anything else we can use? Of course, I'm supposed to look in different rooms. I don't know. Item. Uh, plate, cup, fork, knife. That's a lot of random stuff. You can hide in that location. It's locked. I don't think I can open it by myself. Okay, so am I supposed to be looking for something else? Is there anything else to look for, really? That's the question. I leave out the way I came. Item. Obtain a red ointment. Can I just use the red ointment? That's what I use to get myself all better in this game. I guess we're looking around the whole place at the moment to help. Hello? Anyone there? You know, we cannot use the inner phone. The electricity is out. I know, I was too bored. And then just some prize points. Obtain a chocolate bar. 
It's the security system for the second floor. It does not work without the matching medallion. All the medallions are round anyway. Would it open, wouldn't it open if it fits? You're a genius. What a leap of faith. Then I will fumble. It doesn't work. Do you really think that would work? It was you who said so. Obtain a chocolate bar. Something useful for first aid. There is nothing useful, so I claim. The locker is locked. I need a passcode to open it. Shift his exit because I don't have a passcode. Obtained in your pick. It's a pool table that janitors were playing with in their free time. Okay. There's nothing useful. Now, is there anything that I can see if I light this up? Just the lock, which I can already mess with, so yeah, yeah. Check things around here. Jeez. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm going to try my best to find it. Guess I'm going to stick to the right side first. I obtained a carrot. Oh boy. I thought I could go out to the terrace, but it's also locked. I'll make an extra save file there on save file 9, just in case anything goes wrong. I made a mistake during investigation. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna die here. <laughs> just because it'll be faster to load than do this. You died. Oh boy. But I'm just gonna load here. I'm gonna go back there if I don't save him in time. Once I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted. Should I wash my face? Hmm? As you wish. As I wash my face with cold water, I start to feel a little better. The aching head seemed to be subdued a little. I looked up in the mirror, even if it was for sure that I wouldn't see anything in the dark. Ugh! I was so surprised and looked back, but no other people but you know was there. I was there. What is it? Why do you look so surprised? Wait a moment. I calmed myself down and looked back in the mirror at the at the washstand. I was the only one reflecting the mirror in the light of the matchstick. And when the light went out, the dark shadow in the mirror and the silhouette of the figure was very close to the shape of the killer who had been conf who had been confronting. Phew, it was me. I was so surprised. What? Were you just frightened by your own reflection? How pathetic. Shit, please do not look at me like that. I was uh, really surprised. You fool, the water is dripping. Wipe your face before you speak. So, sorry. But in this darkness, I look no different than from the killer. That is probably because it is too dark to distinguish anyone in the blackout. Wouldn't it be possible for us to mistake others as killers, like just like when I first met you? That's true. We cannot really tell who is who. So please do not rush yourself as you did before. She must have forgotten that it was her who attacked me first. I wish I had a flashlight. It would be easier to identify who it is. But the killer may easily find you with the light. Can you fight off the killers? That's true. I cannot fight well. We need to be more careful. That's right. There's a strange scribble on the bathroom wall. 8572, that's for the locker next door. So if someone could write that down, it's 8572. It says 8572. What does it mean? 8572. I'll go to it for a moment. I even know what it's for at the moment, so. We'll save this in my additional exploration one. Obtained a chocolate bar. Obtained an ear pick. Obtained a carrot. Oh shit, a carrot is growing out in the bathroom. I do not want to eat it. Nothing inside that toilet. Obtained a red ointment. Alright. Now, this combination 
Eight five seven two. Of course. Is this the right room? Yeah, this is the locker room. I can now put in eight five seven two. Eight, five, seven, two. Success! This is a crowbar. It could be of use at some point. Obtain the crowbar. Save game here. Alright, so according to the map... Oof! Item, map, stairway to first floor, stairway to third floor, and we're on the second floor, hidden room, bathroom, kitchen, dress room. I'll see if I have anything to help him yet, but I don't think I do. Into here. Do I have anything to heal my brother with, or is he dead? There's nothing useful for the first aid treatment. Or I need to go back to looking for first aid supplies. I'm afraid I'm not going to get to him in time. Hopefully, he has a little bit of time on his shoulders. That's all I can say to all this. So the Terrence does not work, which means that we need to go take over this path to go explore. And I have not looked over here, so it's time to get back to being exploring. I think I can break down the shutter if I knock down the statue. It looks heavy. Can you do it? I think it will be easy to fall down if I push it maybe three times. I am going to use the crowbar. Arg! What? Okay, okay. What What the fucking hell? That was like the most random crowbar minigame I think I've ever tried. <laughs> Well, we now know we can knock down this the statue. Let me first look, examine this stuff. Just to make sure there's nothing I'm trying to get. Does not seem like it. Alright. Save game there. Alright. I am going to use the crowbar. Did I get in the red zone? Okay, so I press space when I'm in the correct area. That's simple. Alright, now of course the last one's going to be the hardest, but it's possible, it's possible. Fail. Alright, so then you go back a step if you don't do it, so you just have to mash keys and do it like this. Success! Which then leaves the last one. It starts a second after you do it, so you need to sort of think ahead. I went back two steps because of this. Ah, uh, mash those keys. I can do it. I can do it. All right. Now I'll just got. He can hear all that keyboard mashing. Just go through here. Fail. It's because it does it like a second after you do it, so you need to sort of predict where you're gonna be in just a moment when it gets smaller. It's like literally almost a second afterwards. There we go, pushed it. Predicting ahead. Good, we can now go to the other side. Wow, you were a man. I'll pat you on the hips. Hey, hey, don't touch my butt. What? What a strange set of, never mind. 